Here we're going to show you how to do file backup from your video recorder. I have a uh, USB drive connected to the back of the recorder and I'm going to then get a pop-up like this and it says I can choose to do a file backup, log backup, config backup, or system upgrade. We're going to explore how to do a file backup to get a video of interest onto our USB drive. I have about 63 gigs free on my USB drive. It's formatted using the NTFS file system. I'm going to select file backup. Now this allows you to use a table-based method to back up video. We're going to show you that first. If you already know the segment of the video you want to back up from, first you can go to make sure you're writing to the correct place you want to go to. So it automatically created a folder called NVR with today's date. I'm using an NVR and it's today's date, so it automatically did that for me. I can also format the drive if I wanted. In this case, I don't need to. I've already formatted it using NTFS, which is compatible with a recorder. Now I'm gonna choose what type of file am I trying to download. I'm gonna download basically only files that were done with motion detection and using the mainstream and the channel number. In this case, I want to download from channel two. From the search menu, I know that my front door is channel two. And I'm gonna now then specify when I need video from. With today's date, today is the seventh. I need video from, let's say, 1050 to also today's date, video till 10, let's say 11 a.m. So it's just a 10 minute segment that I'm looking for. The file format, I will leave that as DAV because it saves envelope information that I really need. I can do that. And also I'm gonna save it as an ASF file and add it as well. So let's try that. If it doesn't let you do that, you can remove it and save it as an ASF. So what it does is it only allows you to save one time frame as one format. So we can do it twice and we can do start. And what it's doing is it's actually writing the file to my flash drive in an ASF format, which is a Windows friendly. You can play it back in any VLC media player as well. Backup completed. Now I want to save it as a DAV file and hit add, start. It's pretty easy. It lets you quickly add files, you know where you want them from. So let's show you how to do multiple files. Let's go to Substream. I'm gonna add that. It says it can't find matching records. So if you specify a Substream or a Mainstream and you don't have that sort of event happening, I actually don't have motion detection happening in my Substream. So I'm gonna select all kinds of video in my Substream from this time frame from channel two and save it as this format. I'll first remove this, then hit add. It saved it. It says channel two saving as regular and the time frame and it'll be this size. Same thing, I want channel three, add, now hit start. And it's backing up that video to my USB drive. DAV files do require a, a specific player. Um, it's called Smart Player. It is available from our website and ASF files can be played back with VLC media player. Now let me show you a different way to back up video, which is using the timeline method. Go to video search, select a time frame you want to back up video from. You can only do this on one channel at a time. It's easier to do that way so you're not getting confused with what camera actually got backed up. So that's why we suggest doing one camera at a time this way. And narrow down the point in time where you want to back up video from. And uh, you can magnify that window and hit the video clip function to mark a start point from where you want the video to begin and let the video play back. And you can also use the skip function to go to a certain point in time where you want the end video to be. And it's right here. Hit the timeline function again, hit the save, it asks you where do you want to save it. I'm going to select my USB drive and it already highlighted the begin time and the end time that I specified tells me how much it's going to take. That's 43 megs. 
uh, our 43,000 kilobytes and uh, hit backup. And it asks me, where do you want to put it? I say, yes, this is the correct place. It is the same folder. And as you can see, when it, the other way that I did, it actually downloaded Smart Player automatically for me for Windows. Hit start and it's gonna show me how long it's gonna to take to download the video, which is pretty quick, already done. It's that simple.